Almost two years ago, in early May 2018, I posted a science news segment about a newly developed 3D skin printer. The technology was brand new, completely novel, and really cool, as it was able to lay down a thin layer of fresh mesenchymal stroma cells embedded in a lattice of fibrin protein and collagen fibers. They could be deposited and settle in place in less than two minutes, which is incredibly fast. The mesenchymal stroma cells are stem cells that can differentiate into specific cell types based on the differentiated cells around them. So you put them in a heart, they become cardiac cells. You put them in your bones, they become osteocytes. You put them on your skin, they become dermal cells. The general goal with this technology was that it might one day allow for scientists to deposit solid layers of cells on the site of interest for their experiments, whether they're dealing with some kind of plant or animal, or if they're trialing a new tissue generation method. There was speculative hope that this technology would find use in burn treatment, but that had yet to be developed. But it does bring me to today's news. The University of Toronto research team that first created this technology was led by Professor Axel Günther and PhD candidate Richard Chang. And recently, they made headlines again when they applied their technology to develop a handheld 3D printer that can be used to treat large and or severe burns. They've basically proven that it has a medicinal, therapeutic value. When interviewed and asked about the history of this work, Professor Günther said, Previously, we proved that we could deposit cells onto a burn, but there wasn't any proof that there were any wound healing benefits. Now, we've demonstrated that. Unquote. They've effectively created a handheld device that can lay down a 3D printed sheet of cells directly onto a burn wound, and it actually improves the healing process. When patients with large burns were treated with sheets of 3D printed cells, their burns healed faster, and they showed less scarring than patients with burns treated through standard methods. These standard methods include autologous skin grafting, where patches of skin are taken from healthy places on the patient's body and applied over the burn area. This new method, this 3D printer, doesn't require surgical intervention, and it doesn't require the creation of new wounds just to harvest skin for the burn. It should be said that this process was difficult. Over the last almost two years, their technology was redesigned 10 times, with each iteration getting closer and closer to a viable tool for use in surgery and for burn treatment. Dr. Mark Jeshka is the director of the Ross Tilly Burn Center at Sunnybrook Hospital, and he worked in close collaboration with Mr. Chang and Professor Günther. When discussing the new development, Dr. Jeshka said that he expected this technology to be used in hospitals sometime in the next five years. He said, quote, Once it's used in an operating room, I think this printer will be a game changer in saving lives. With a device like this, it could change the entirety of how we practice burn and trauma care. Unquote.